Meantime, Iowa Congressman Steve King spent the day on a boat touring the flooded areas in western Iowa. He's trying to convince the federal government to provide more assistance for flood victims. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Liz Dorland has more. By boat, Iowa Congressman Steve King gets a good look at just how bad the flooding is east of the Mormon Bridge. From the air, you get the scope of the magnitude of it, but here, you can hear the water. You can hear the water roaring over the interstate from here. Flood water cascades over broken slabs of concrete. In some areas, the constant rush of water has washed away the cement. I'm standing at the 680 I-29 interchange. In this area, the water in some places is as deep as 20 feet. It's undercutting the interstate here, washing out the dirt, allowing the concrete to collapse. Well, I think that says one thing. It's no picnic out here for sure. Sides of grain bins and homes mark where the water has been. This is home for somebody. I don't know who they are. I hope one day I meet them. It is heartbreaking to see the damage. Just look inside this home. A refrigerator floats in the water while mold grows on the walls. I wish Washington, D.C. had a better sense of the reality of what we have here. FEMA still has not granted folks in western Iowa individual assistance because officials don't yet know exactly how many homes are destroyed. Wearing hip waders, Congressman King gets into the flood water and tapes a message for Washington, D.C., pleading for help. This is a real flood, Mr. President, and uh, it's going to be here until October at least. We need to fix this so it doesn't happen again, and the people need some relief under FEMA individual assistance. Help he knows will be a long time coming for those hit hard by the mighty Mo. Liz Dorland, KMTV Action 3 News.